Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I have something brand new and really exciting to share with you. It's a brand new miner being developed by a company out of Norway, and they're called Locotech. They're developing a script ASIC miner, but it's not just like any other miner. It's extremely powerful and efficient. How efficient? It's actually about five times more efficient than the latest generation of L7 miners from Bitme. But what really sets this apart is its form factor and its usability and utility in the sense that it looks like a GPU. Why is that? Because you would actually plug this ASIC miner right inside of your home computer. So there's really a lot to cover on this one. I've reached out to the team over at Locotech and I was actually fortunate enough to be communicating directly with one of the founders. So you know I got the inside scoop, everything from the specifications, the release timelines, as well as the expected price. But before I get into that, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to press down on that subscribe button. I really put a lot of hard work and time and heart into my videos to give you the latest information that hopefully helps you. And you subscribing is what really motivates me. So let's go take a look at this new miner. Locotech is a blockchain manufacturing company and they're based out of Norway. They were actually one of the key sponsors and presenters at the Litecoin Summit 2022 this year. So they were there presenting a lot of their initiatives, everything from their own mining pool. They have a smart power supply. And of course, the S1 hash blade, which I'm going to be focusing on for the rest of this video. I'm going to be putting a link down below. And if you're interested in learning more about this miner, as well as the pre-release of it, click on their pre-order. I'll be putting a link down below. It's loco, L-O-K-O-T-E-C-H dot N-O for Norway. And you'd be able to put your name on here and you'd be able to register to be notified when this miner is going to be released. Because Locotech puts a, seems to put a strong emphasis on their direct customer sales. So they're looking to have strong sales on the B2C, you know, as well as the B2B. And it's great if we can kind of be able to buy directly from them and eliminate any middleman or any upcharges on it. So I would definitely encourage you to go, you know, put your name or put your email, an email on this list so you're notified when it is released. But before I look at any of the specifications further, let's take a look at some of the competitors out there in the script mining. So I'm looking at ASIC miner value at current date is on, this is December 11th of 2022. And I see the price is definitely fluctuating for Bitcoin and like. Uh, excuse me, the price is definitely fluctuating for Litecoin and Dogecoin. And I'm seeing the prices vary anytime from the day it was down as low as like $19 or $20 a day. Now it's actually must be in a rally. It's up to $24.65. This is on the latest Bitmain Antminer L7 9.5 giga hash. And this miner is a powerhouse miner. It actually mines 9.5 giga hash of script. And it's one of the most profitable miners on the market right now. But look at the energy consumption, 3,425 watts, and it has 75 decibels. So unless you have an isolated area that's kind of soundproof, it's definitely not friendly to run in your home or office setting. You really need a much more of an industrial setting. Plus, you need specialized electric generally to run something like this at this much voltage and this much wattage. Also, too, when you're buying a miner like this, the barrier to entry is really high, in my opinion. How high? Well, I'm seeing right now they're selling anywhere from $7,000 to $11,000 or more. Plus, depending upon tariffs and other shipping, it could be even be higher than that. So a lot of people like myself, you know, I think twice before I drop that much money on a miner. If I'm interested in mining the script algorithm profitably, I'm going to need something really like the L7s or better to be able to be profitable. You know, if you're looking here on ASIC miner value, these are really the only three of the only profitable miners are the L7s because they have them anywhere from 9.05 giga hash all the way up to nine and a half giga hash. But these are expensive miners. Any of the secondary ones were looking like the Gold Shell LT Lite. Look at that, it's gonna be 1.62 giga hash, but it's still consuming 1,450 watts, making under a dollar a day. Let's zoom into it. And I could see the miner would bring in $4.84 a day would be the gross revenue. $4.18 a day of it would be going towards the electricity. And now I'd be left with, I guess, price of the coin is going down a little bit. Only 66 cents a day. So to me, that's just, you know, a, over 80% of the profit of this miner is just going back towards the electric bill. That just doesn't seem like a very sensible thing, especially as more of these L7s come online. 
But these miners are not cheap because even looking down on the, some of the resellers, I see uh, them here listed anywhere from $22.99 and up. So they're not cheap miners. And the ROI, as you would expect, is never on these. So to me, these would not be a good option. Personally, not financial advice. I would rather buy the coin if I thought it was going to rally than, I, than before I would ever invest in any of these miners. But that's actually where this new local tech miner excels. See, because it's extremely efficient. 2 giga hash approximately at only 145 watts. I know. I was the same thing. I was like, what? That seems like really insane. It's like 10 times less power than we were seeing then just from the gold shell LT light. Um, just, you know, a huge improvement on the overall efficiency, which means that a larger share of the mining revenue will be able to keep. We won't be paying it out to electricity. To give a better understanding of this new S1 hash blade, let's talk about it. So this S1 script hash blade, it's basically, it's a PCI card and it looks just like a GPU. That's because it would plug into the same type of a slot that would normally plug into your computer or your, even your mining rig. I was also told too that these units would still be able to use on that X1 slot. So I could use it on a PCIe riser. So to me, that's fantastic. I can use it on one of my additional mining rigs. And I could probably, you know, put multiple there in parallel and scale as my need would want to be with it. And these cards are basically contain 128 ASIC chips. And these individual ASIC chips, apparently they're run by a smart controller on the board that can enable or disable them depending on if, in case it finds that there's anything malfunctioning, it doesn't seem to have to take the whole card down. It would just take that individual portion of the ASIC or that, that tile offline and it just seems like it's a very, very innovative solution to be able to reuse the existing hardware I have for my PC or my GPU mining rigs to be able to just put an ASIC card in there. To me, that's like an absolute win-win situation. So I just think overall, the design of this is very, very innovative. And I think too, it helps mitigate some of the costs, which I'll be getting to a little bit later, but it just, it makes it a much more friendlier solution. I don't have to worry about buying, you know, a whole nother ASIC that has like three or four or however many ASIC cards in it, I can just kind of buy individually as a card as I need based on my budget. And I just think it's a much more friendlier solution overall, not only for the environment because it minimizes the e-waste, but it lets me reuse a lot of my existing infrastructure. Jumping over to Minerstat.com for the script algorithm, I plugged in the metrics for this miner. It's just shy of two giga hash in the actual spec. It's 1996. 0.8 mega hash and that would be consuming about 145 watts and using a 12 cents kilowatt hour electricity and when I calculate it it is telling me I will be making about six dollars and 96 cents a day uh, this is on merge mining but only electricity costs of 42 cents so wow that's leaving me a lot more profit six dollars and 54 cents even if I look on nice hash marketplace I would still be making uh, revenue, excuse me, the profit would still be 555 a day. And to me, that makes this miner very, very attractive because I'm not paying the majority of the mining revenue into my electricity costs. And that's one thing that I think that's great about this new local tech S1 hash blade. And not only is it very powerful and it's efficient, it makes a good profit for what it's doing. And when I was speaking with the team too, and the founder over at Local Tech, uh, he was very, very clear. He has a goal too. He wants his consumers to be able to ROI on these miners on one year or less. And that's why they priced them where they did. So what is the price? What do you think a miner like this would go for? It's actually much more efficient than a lot of the other miners we were seeing there, including the L7. Although it would take multiple of these miners to equal the hash rate of the L7, it's significantly more efficient overall. But the price point that they plan to introduce this miner to the market at to consumers is between $19.99 and $21.99. So, wow, to me, this makes it a lot more, you know, attractive because I don't have to spend, you know, six, eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 to get a miner to be able to participate profitably in mining on the script algorithm. I would really love to know what you guys' thoughts are on this. To have a miner like this that you can run right inside of your existing hardware like a, a GPU mining rig or your PC. And you know you don't have to have this big electric bill with it. And you know to me, price range I think is very, very fair for what it's offering. Again, I would love to know your thoughts on this. That about wraps it up for me today. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing this preview of the different specifications, timeline, and even pricing 
of the new local tech miners. I'm extremely excited about this new hash blade miner and I would love to get my hands on one. And I was even told I'll actually be part of the initial release when it actually goes live out to the public. So I'm really looking forward to that. Which brings me to, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me that big thumbs up and please remember to press that subscribe button. That kind of what keeps me motivated as well as it lets me keep you informed too because I plan to definitely stay on top of this miner. It seems like it's a very revolutionary and innovative solution. I love being able to just, you know, be able to put a mine like this right inside my GPU rig. And maybe even as I want to scale more going forward, maybe buy a second or a third one. I love having options like this and flexibility. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts on this miner. And please remember to subscribe so you can keep up to date on it. So until next time, stay safe. I'll see you on the next video.